Hello and welcome again to investingsuccess.ca and another of our short video presentations in which we take a look at astrology, human emotion, and the financial markets. In this little installment, I want to take a look at U.S. oil and gas company Apache Corporation and Apache trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol APA. And I'm drawn to Apache uh, for this brief analysis, uh, more out of curiosity than anything. Apache um, triggered my curiosity about a week and a half ago when suddenly, uh, out of the blue, it announced that it was exiting its uh, long-term liquefied natural gas uh, project that it had under construction uh, on the west coast of Canada in British Columbia. And this apparently was due to some heavy pressure being exerted by a large activist shareholder who didn't want to... Uh, devote any more money to these long-term mega projects. He wants to do conventional oil and gas production and get more immediate profits. And uh, so the board of directors acquiesce to his demands and they're exiting their project. Anyway, I did take a look at Apache. I looked at its astrology. And as it turns out, this is certainly an interesting stock to uh, pay attention to. Apache uh, has been around for a long time. It started trading for the first time ever back uh, in May 27th in 1969 and here's the planetary placements uh, at that time in 1969. Uh, nothing overly remarkable except the one thing that catches my attention is Mercury and Sun are zero degrees conjunct. Uh, natal Sun is at six degrees of Gemini and, and Mercury is at eight degrees. That tells me that Mercury is something that uh, should be watched um, especially transiting Mercury if it makes hard aspects to that natal Sun position. And so when I go about analyzing one of these stocks, one of the first things I like to overlay on, on a bare bones basic chart is the uh, harmonics. And if you've been following my, my writings um, in my newsletter and, and some of my blogs, you'll know that I use the Oreste method, pioneered by Italian mathematician Fabio Oreste, and his harmonic lines are rooted in the science of quantum physics. And so to start with, here's the bare bones chart in which I've applied the Jupiter harmonics and subharmonics. And you can see that uh, on this one year chart, um, you can see that Jupiter is currently overhead resistance. And if Apache does want to go any higher in the near future, it's going to have to surpass this uh, Jupiter harmonic at looks like just over $105 a share. We can then apply uh, Saturn harmonics, and you can see that I've put the Saturn harmonic line on here. It's in blue, and the one thing that uh, jumps off the page at me is the fact that in November of 2013, uh, Apache share price made a very significant inflection, uh, just around $94 a share, but you can see that it came right at that Saturn harmonic. So if you're short-term investing or trading uh, Apache, pay very, very strict attention to these harmonics because oftentimes uh, they will align with uh, points in time when price um, uh, records an inflection. Now we can take it one step further. We can add Aranus and you can see that there's two orange lines that I've added. One is uh, Aranus and the other one is its subharmonic. And oddly enough, you can see that at this inflection point, um, where price hit uh, the Saturn harmonic line, there was also a Uranus harmonic line. Anytime you get two harmonics um, bunched up together, that tends to be uh, a rather formidable uh, uh, point in time, and, and you really have to watch for price inflection points. Now, over here, in um, just recently in June of 2014, uh, price action, a person would have been very mindful of... Uh, of these of these lines as price approached it um, you would have perhaps had a stop loss in place just in case there was a significant reversal now fortunately there wasn't price continued on through and and uh, it moved up higher but you would have been very alert you would have uh, been uh, like I say sitting there with a stop loss just in case we can now finish off this chart and we can add the Neptune harmonic lines which I've done in green and there's also a Pluto harmonic uh, in yellow and so you can see that right now uh, the price of Apache uh, is bounded by this overhead Jupiter harmonic but it's flirting with this uh, Pluto harmonic it's not sure what it wants to do here is it going to stay above it is it going to go below it 
Um, Neptune is very important. You can see that the Neptune uh, harmonic line actually served as a bottom back uh, one year ago in August when, when Apache made a significant low. And you can see that uh, along the way in December of 2013, the Neptune harmonic uh, acted as overhead resistance. And again, you can see that in May of 2014, it was uh, it was uh, overhead resistance, and, and eventually price got through that Neptune line and, and worked its way higher. Now, I've uh, added one more feature to this chart, and these are these red arrows that you see. Um, those are the times when transiting Mercury made 0, 90, or 180 degree hard aspects to that natal sun position. And you can see that back in uh, August of 2013, there was a, a Sun Mercury hard aspect, and look what happened. The price gapped up at that point. Uh, we can see that in December of 2013, there was another Mercury uh, Sun hard aspect, and look what happened. The price was coming down, and it was it was coming down to encroach on uh, a Jupiter and a Neptune harmonic line. And a person uh, knowing that this um, this Mercury Sun uh, hard aspect was occurring. Uh, if you weren't out of the stock already, you certainly would have had a stop loss underneath it. And probably good because it, uh, the stock did consolidate for a little bit, but then the bottom fell out of it. So, um, you know, here, like I say, these harmonic lines are important, but you overlay that with, a, with an astro event uh, involving Mercury. And uh, there can be some significant action that occurs. Now, if we uh, take a look at um, March of 2014, you'll see that there was another Mercury Sun hard aspect, and look what happened. Um, price was deciding whether or not it wanted to get above uh, this Uranus harmonic, and sure enough, within a couple of trading sessions after this uh, Mercury Sun hard aspect, the way the price went, and it, and it moved up and through the uh, Uranus harmonic. Likewise, in May of 2014, Price is bumping along that Neptune harmonic, not sure, does it want to go higher, does it want to go lower? And uh, if, you're, if you were in the stock at that time, um, or if you were contemplating getting in perhaps, you know that you've got this Neptune harmonic line at work, you know you've got this Sun-Mercury conjunction coming at you, and sure enough, as soon as that uh, hard aspect between Sun and Mercury occurs, boom, the stock takes off, and it, and it doesn't look back until it uh, hits resistance at... Uh, at the uh, much higher Pluto line. And so that in a nutshell is, is how I approach these things and I, I continue to be amazed by these uh, harmonic lines and, and uh, how powerful and elegant they are, especially when combined with other astral events. And it is that kind of stuff that I do talk about in my astrology e-alerts to my uh, subscribers on a weekly basis. And I do encourage you to uh, give some thought to subscribing and uh, following along with some of the things that we talk about. And so, you've, of course, as always, you can find me at uh, investingsuccess.ca. You can also follow some of my posts at astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com. And, of course, you'll find me on uh, social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, Twitter as well. Thank you for watching uh, this brief installment, and uh, there will be more of them forthcoming in the not-too-distant future. Take care.